It's not fun to have your two-ton SUV's brakes hacked just as you're parking in front of a ditch. Okay, hold on tight. Hold on. Oh, That's what I've learned from Charlie Miller and Chris Valasek, a pair of hackers who have spent the last year developing a piece of software that can wirelessly sabotage this 2014 Jeep Cherokee. It hasn't been altered in any way. There are no devices attached to it. But like many thousands of Jeeps around the world, it can be remotely hacked over the internet through a cellular connection to its entertainment system that would allow someone to take over its steering, its transmission, and even its brakes. To demonstrate that, I'm going to act as today's crash test dummy and drive it on the highway here in St. Louis, while Charlie and Chris hijack its digital systems from Charlie's house miles away. They wouldn't tell me what they had plans, but they assured me that it wouldn't be anything life-threatening. Remember, Andy, no matter what happens, don't panic. It's not the first time I've driven a car while it's being attacked by these two hackers. But in 2013, oh they were in the back seat, and their laptops were wired into the vehicle through a port in its dashboard. <laughs> now they're sending the same sort of attacks remotely, and I have no idea what they might do. He's going as fast as I've seen him, so. So first we're gonna turn the fan on him. Yeah, let's turn the fan on, see if he even notices. All right, all the, something just turned on, all the fans and AC and stuff. I didn't do that. The trick started small. Oh my God. There's a picture of Charlie and Chris in tracksuits that just appeared on the dashboard. But as I drove down the interstate, things started getting unpleasant and very loud. Perfect. I can't turn it down. Conditioning is blasting, the music is blasting, and I can't see anything because of the windshield wiper fluid. Okay, do it. Do it. Kill the engine. So we're killing the engine right now. It says park it says actually can't accelerate. I stomped on the gas, but the Jeep slowed to a crawl. It says 43 miles an hour, but I'm not going that fast. I turned on my hazard lights, but I was still stuck in the right lane with no shoulder to escape onto. Guys, I'm stuck on the highway. What do you say? Oh, I think he's panicking. He's not gonna be able to hear us with that radio. It's so loud. Guys, I need the accelerator to work again. The accelerator will work. It won't work. <laughs> You're doomed. Seriously, it's dangerous. I need to move. We, you gotta turn the car off. <laughs> okay. Now you should be good to go. <laughs> yeah. Semi drove by. All right, I'm gonna pull over because uh, I have PTSD. Charlie and Chris have only tested the full range of their attacks on a Jeep Cherokee, but they say that hundreds of thousands of late model Chrysler vehicles may be vulnerable through a feature called UConnect, an internet-connected computer in the dashboard known as its head unit. These cars, head units, expose a particular service that probably they, they didn't want to. Um, it lets you do things like query it for information, like the GPS or the VIN or, or all sorts of other things, but it also lets you just run commands. So you have to first break into the car remotely over the cell network and then move laterally uh, if you want to do things like send CAN messages. And those are the messages that we can use to control things like steering or the windshield wipers or braking. They plan to release a portion of their exploit code at the annual Black Hat Hacker Conference next month. They've also alerted Chrysler, which is issuing a security patch. But they say a lot more needs to be done to protect a new generation of cars that are increasingly connected to the internet and potentially hackable. You guys basically brought, brought this car to a standstill while I was driving on the highway, which I may never forgive you for. <laughs> and uh, that was just like an experiment. What do you think is the worst case scenario? We wanted to point out, you know, to show that this attack is, has serious consequences for this vehicle. And so we did, you know, attack you. <laughs> but we, we did it in as safe a way as we could, so we, we didn't want you to get hurt, obviously. That's why we're working, is to make sure that we, we figure out vulnerabilities, weaknesses, get them fixed. We're only, we're only two guys with one car, right? So, you know, we can't look at every car, and we want to release this information because more people like us need to be focused on this problem. After their stunt on the highway, Chris and Charlie still wanted to show me a couple of other tricks. Below a certain <laughs> speed, they can control the Jeep steering as long as it's in reverse pop its locks, mess with the speedometer, and, of course, disable the brakes. Okay, hold on tight. Hold on. Oh, He's not getting out of that. I don't think so. Uh-oh, we're, we're gonna be doing some pushing. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's insane. That's fucking 
that's how you drive in the Midwest. New Yorkers don't know how to do that. 